Hey everyone, I'm Jeffrey Way, and I want to show you one of my favorite new IDEs that I discovered over the weekend from Elijah Manor, and it's called Web IDE. So it's released by the JetBrains guys, and they're offering the public preview right now of a web store. So let's take a look at it. I'm going to open it up, and I have a project I'm running, and this will be for an upcoming screencast, and I just want to show you a handful of the features that I really like. So let's say, of course, I can hit Command D and that'll duplicate the line. Really simple things. If I hold down Option on the Mac, I can do vertical selections to make edits, like so. It has support for Zen coding, which I'm so happy to see. So I can do div container with a child of div header and also a sibling of content, and that'll handle that for me. You can see it notes that I, it found an ID of the same name twice, and it lets us know that we can't do, do that duplicate ID, so I can change that like so. Uh, if I leave off a quotation mark or something like that, it's going to know. And if I hover over the top right screen right here, it'll say one error. And I can just kind of click on it and it'll let me know, okay, there's the problem right there. Really simple things that are a nice feature. Uh, let's come back to container and let's say I add some inline styling because I'm being quick with 500 pixels. Height is 300 pixels. I can, uh, I can access any of the items from the menu bar. So I could do, I could right click and I could come to refactor, extract inline CSS, or I can hit shift command A on the Mac and do extract inline CSS. Click it and I want to extract it like so. I can do it to an external file, a style sheet that already exists or uh, within the page. Hit enter, it immediately takes that out and adds it to the top. Really, really powerful and nice stuff. You can do the exact same thing with your JavaScript as well. Of course, uh, it has great debugging. We're not going to go into that. Uh, Git integration, which is vital, and you just don't see it that much. So it makes uh, Git nits and commits really easy to do. Of course, it has to-dos built right in. Something, and that'll show up in your to-do list at the very bottom, like so. It's pretty common now. Uh, let's see, just lots of little things I want to show you. Um, of course, Command W is going to select the word. Uh, Command D will duplicate the line. Uh, if I hit Shift Command I, that's going to bring up all the styling associated with a particular element, which, which is really fantastic. So I do it up here, and if I want a quick glance at everything that's associated with it. If I hit uh, Shift F6, it'll bring up the definition. So Shift F6. Well, I'm sorry, that's not right. Shift, maybe Shift, Control, J. Sorry, I'm still learning this too. Yeah, and that'll bring up the definition. So that's Control, J. Uh, let's see what else I wanted to show you. Just lots of little things like background colors and border colors. They'll add a little square here to the side, so if you quickly need to find that blue color, just look for the blue in the sidebar and you don't have to remember what the hex value is. Let's say I want to run the page in the browser. I can just simply go up to the very top right screen and little icons will pop up and I can view them in those browsers and when I hover away, they immediately disappear. Uh, the IntelliSense is fantastic and quick. So script type equals text slash JavaScript close. Just really quick, quick stuff. Um, let me see what else I wanted to show you. Uh, you can switch between color schemes easily using command tilde or control tilde. Switch color scheme, let's go to the default, or if we want to go back. And they have a huge variety of options here. And I'm using the twilighted one right there. Um, let's, I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to show you here. Uh, the main thing I like this is just lots of things you don't normally see in a code editor. It's much more powerful, but it doesn't feel bloated the way that something like Optana will. So let me know if you know any features. I'm still getting used to it, so I'm trying to pick up all the... Uh, the new little features that I can find, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you want to check it out, just simply go to jetbrains.com, and it is called WebStorm. Thanks, guys. Bye.